Is it the end of all SEO content writing tools? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to create my own version of Surfer SEO or Phrase in around 20 minutes. And I'll also show you the terminology and the thought process that I actually included in my own tool as well. Hey, very quickly, if you are struggling ranking your website on Google, maybe you are an e-commerce store trying to get more sales or potentially you might even be a local business trying to generate more leads for your company, check the link down below. I have helped businesses rank higher than the Google logo. Okay, that might have been a slight lie, but if you are looking to consistently grow your revenue month on month, check the link down below, fill in the form, see if my team can help you. Right, back to the video. So with a lot of content writing tools, they take a look at the NLP keywords and also the entities and also the semantically relevant keywords. So for example, if we were writing an article on SEO, Search engine optimization is super semantically relevant to the keyword SEO because it is very, very similar. It also has a similar meaning as well. So what a lot of content writing tools do is they will group together semantically relevant keywords and they will tell you that you need to mention SEO on the page 10 times or X amount of times. Now this over here is a fairly famous tool called phrase.io and all I have done here is I've just said um, I want to write an article on what is SEO and what is SEO at the top right here. And it basically has spit out a outline. So as you can see here, it's given us some questions to include. It also gives us a load of keywords to include in our content as well. So as you can see here, if we were going to be writing about what is SEO, um, it recommends to include search engine optimization twice, internal links once, search queries once, search engine algorithms uh, once, and so on and so forth. Now, this is attached to what's called a NLP library. So it just understands that SEO or what is SEO in the article you are trying to explain to somebody that's landing on your um, article what SEO is. Now, this is what a lot of tools do, so such as, Phrase.io, same with uh, Market Muse, same with Surfer SEO, so on and so forth. They obviously have their own weighted system. Some tools are better than others, but on the grand scheme of things, that's what a lot of these tools do. And they do end up charging a considerable amount for the tool as well. Now, if you don't have the budget to buy some of these tools, there is an alternative, and I will show you guys how you can build your own tool for that. So. If we head over to Claude.ai, now this isn't a 100% perfect scenario. You'll probably be able to get a good understanding and you'll be able to get an okay article out of this method I'm about to show you guys. But very quickly, what you need to do for this is go into your actual settings, go into feature preview and make certain that this is turned on first of all. And then what you are going to start doing is going back and forth with the actual Claude.ai and creating your own semantically keyword extraction tools. So this is what I have done here. Based on your NLP library and using keyword extraction, create me a tool that will create important semantically relevant keywords from an article. It came back and it wasn't the best. So then I obviously said this isn't working properly because it probably didn't actually work to begin with. And I've essentially went back and forth with it a few times. You do need to understand how NLP extraction works and how semantically relevant keywords work as well. So then what I said was, can you give me an important score of the extracted keywords? Also in the why, what you get is what you get editor. Uh, are you able to tweak it so I can copy and paste articles with subheadings as well, which I'll show you what I mean by that. So so as you can see, I did go back and forth with it a few times to get it perfect. But now if I was to just actually extract the subheading from this, this article on um, search engine land, and if we were to just copy and paste all of the content here as well, and if we just go all the way down here, um, I think the content ends here. Then if we just paste in the article here and what you will see 
is if we click on extract keywords, it will give us a list of keywords that we need to actually include on our website. So if we take a look here, SEO, it recommends us to use it seven to 10 times. Search, it recommends us to use it seven to 10 times. Engine, six to nine. Optimization, six to nine. Engines, five to eight. Visibility, five to eight. Expertise, four to seven. Google, three to six. Website, three to six. So on and so forth. Now, one thing that it also does as well is it gives you an important score of the keywords and also a score of 29.67. So if you guys do know a little bit about entity extraction, um, the higher the number, it obviously, it basically means the more important on the actual page. Another thing that I also like how it is calculated, how many times it feels like you should have it in your 1000 words. So 1.92 times per 1000 words. So on the grand scheme of things, we will probably need them to write a much longer article. So that has been my keyword extraction tools. Feel free to ask me any questions on this. Now, a few things on this. I would, I wouldn't say that this keyword extraction tool is the beyond and end all. It's probably not going to be anywhere near as good as Surfer SEO and Market Muse. Um, because those tools obviously do, they do have a lot of developers working on that tool. They will have access to a lot more APIs and a lot more data. But if you did want to go back and forth with Claude and start coding your own tool, this is a very good start and it makes it very easy for somebody that doesn't know Python or they don't understand APIs and how to hook Python into APIs. This is a really good start. This took me around 20 to 30 minutes to actually do from start to finish. One thing I will do is I will have a link to all of the prompts that I use so you can get a very, very similar tool to myself that I've used in this video. What I will do is I'll link it to in my community down below as well. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like down below. And if you guys do have any questions, remember to leave a comment. And if you want a free 15 minute growth strategy call with myself, make sure to check the link down below. Thanks.